hey what's up welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to fix your sound and configure your sound with your with your windows so this video is not only for new version of windows this is going to work with uh, with older version of windows as well because we are going to use the control panel so as you can see here we are going to use the windows key and r to bring the r command so now we are going to type this control to go inside control panel so here is sound so we are going to click at it as you can see it's going to show me all the speakers that's available inside my pc so there is this speaker is already available and it's checked green so it means that it's plugged and it's working and the second one that we have this digital audio hdmi is as you can see here this arrow keys it show that uh, it's uh, disabled not plugged so now this is available but not plugged so that's why we cannot set as a default so this one is by default selected so if you see more speakers or if you attach a speaker inside your pc so this is going to list here so when you're going to select that so by default when you're going to play something inside your pc so it's going to use the default speaker to play or you're going to hear the sound from the default speakers that's selected with your windows so if i want to change some setting for this speaker so simply i am going to click on the properties as you can see here it's going to show me all this jack information controlled information so if i want to see all the drivers available so simply i'm going to click on the properties as you can see it's going to show me the drivers i can see the details i can also see the events as well so here is the level which we we, we can use to uh, load the sound of by this um, taskbar also you can decrease and if you want to increase it from here as you can see as when i'm put, uh, putting my cursor is going to show me as 100 percent so it means that the same sound that we are going to use here is going to be available to so we can increase the level of the sound from this control panel as well so here we have this balance for this speaker is going to be the left and right so if you see this is going to be lower than the right one so make sure you are going to increase this because we want to make a balance we want to hear a sound that's going to be balance so this is going to be for left and R is going to be for the right so we don't want to actually uh, make it or like less for the left or right so we want to balance uh, the left and right so here we have this enhancement uh, tab for this speaker as you can see if your speaker is supporting so this is going to show up here so simply you're going to select this bass boost and you can see that we have this uh, virtual we have this room and we have this loudness and uh, so you can simply select one of this for enhancement of your speaker so if i'm going to click on disable so this is going to disable everything so simply if uh, you are not uh, convinced with this enhancement e easily you can click on the restore default so everything is going to be default so as you can see also i can click preview so i can see the enhancement for my speaker so if i go to this advanced as you can see i can change the quality of the speaker so as you can see here by default is dvd quality so if i want to select one of these like a uh, studio uh, this quality with this uh, byte and uh, this uh, gigahertz as you can see here we have this studio quality we have the studio quality so you can change that if you want to but make sure when you're going to use uh, one of these make sure your speaker is properly supporting them because when you're going to select something with a big um, ego hertz it means that uh, your speaker should support that if you see this but if you select one of the uh, these so if your speaker doesn't support so you cannot actually get a clear sound so i can click the, the test as well so i can test it before i'm going to apply or okay so also we have this uh, sound that we can use for the format so uh, simply if i'm going to select this windows sonic for headphones so simply i can that but for me uh, off is going to be okay so i don't want to change my sound format uh, here so if i want to configure this if you see there is a problem with your sound it doesn't really uh, good or it doesn't really working so simply you're going to click at this configure click on next as you can see here you can test that as well so i'm going to click next and i'm going to select this front and left right problem so here i'm going to click as you can see configuration is going to be complete 
complete and I'm going to click finish so this sound is going to configure and it's going to be available this speaker and I can play any sound using this speaker so simply I can click on the configure to configure my selected speaker so as you can see for the recording if I go uh, now this uh, microphone is selected or um, attached inside my PC so it's showing me that this is run so if I want to select this one so simply I'm going to select it and here I'm going to set this as a default so whenever I'm going to record something so this uh, PC is going to use the default microphone for my recording so make sure when you're going to make a video for uh, YouTube or maybe you're going to make a video for something uh, else so make sure you're going to select a microphone that's probably properly attached inside your PC and you are sure about it that it's going to work for you then you're going to select it or set it as default so whenever you're going to turn on your recording so it's going to work with your selected microphone so if I want to change something some settings for microphone so simply I'm going to select that and click on properties so this microphone is not going to be the default one but when you're going to attach an external one so definitely this is going to list here and simply you can go to this properties and you can change some of these options as you can see if I go to this listen so simply I can listen to this device I can check this or I can go to level so as you can see here I can uh, increase the microphone and also I can increase the microphone boost so as you can see if your microphone is supporting more boost so you have to increase it for me it doesn't uh, actually uh, not going to support too much as you can see let me show you if I go to the properties click on the levels it's going to be a plus 10 dB if I'm going to increase this so uh, my microphone doesn't support so you're going to get uh, not a good sound so make sure your microphone supporting this microsoft boost and you increase it but if this is not going to support don't increase that is going to not uh, clear your sound you cannot actually record your sound clearly so uh, from here i can increase the sound as well if i go to the advanced so simply i can change the same setting that i can change for the speaker that we can uh, put this to cd dvd quality studio quality so again uh, it's going to be something that uh, is called this uh, channels that we are going to use this hegoers that we are going to use with our sound make sure your speaker or microphone is supporting if it is not supporting so you don't have to go with this studio quality or this other qualities that's available here so we're going to close this for now as you can see I can go to the sounds I can see all these sounds inside my PC so here I play Windows startup sound so I'm already put here so if you want to check this when your Windows going to start so no sounds going to going to uh, uh, play with your windows so as you can see here we have this communications so if you want to change that here it says when windows detects communication activity so reduce the volume of other sound by 80 percent so i can reduce the volume of other sound by 50 percent all do nothing so by default let us reduce the volume or um, of other sounds by 80 percent so it's good so i don't want to change anything and i'm going to apply and click ok so this is how you can fix your sounds problem with your windows so hope this really helped you guys and if you think this video is really helpful don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to uh, hit the bell icon if you want to stay tuned about our future videos and if you have any question please let me know in the comment box of this video so I can answer each question uh, of you about the sound when you want to fix it with your windows so hope you guys enjoy this uh, video see you guys until next video